Damn, we're going to have one hell of a close flyby today, boy. We got a big fucking asteroid. I mean, a big one. Oh, shit. It's like the size of a bus, baby. Its name is GC6 2019. She's coming by about half the distance from our Earth to our moon. So, whoa. Jeez, that was a close call. <laughs> that almost made deep impact there, boy. That would have been a big one, huh? Oh, fuck. I wish that one would have hit, man. That would have been crazy. <laughs> yeah, so that would have made some fucking news, huh? Too bad, too bad. I was waiting for one of those bastards to hit the ocean or something like that and just create this tsunami from hell, dude. Just brimstone. I'm waiting for the big one. The one the government knows about. Wormwood. That's right. I said it. Wormwood. The one coming from the fucking Bible. Coming from the Bureau. In its fucking tails. The twin tails of this thing. With trillions of asteroids behind it. it was somewhere in the midst of this fucking tail. Is Wormwood. That's what makes the grass go dead. That's what makes the ships sink. That's what makes the fucking mountains fall into the sea. That's what turns the sea blood red. That's what makes men's hearts fail them for fear of what's coming upon the earth. Upon what you cannot stop. Or what is coming. Trump, this is why you created Space Force. I know you did. You created Space Force, so, you, so I think I think they know more than meets the eye. Pastor Paul Bagley seems to think that the United States government's already got it picked out. We already got Banu up there. We're shooting at Banu. We're right now we're landed on Banu. That was a that was a planet killer that was set to kill the Earth in like fucking seven years. So. That's like four years down the road for that thing. All they're doing is pushing that out of the way, so I'm not worried about that one at all. But unless the, unless the machine breaks, then they got to fire at it. But huh, the rover, <laughs> that would suck. No, that would be like China. Oh, they just lost their fucking space station up in space. Then ended up crashing down to Earth. No good. So, but we do have some breaking news out of the Middle East. Trump has just rewritten a map declaring, declaring, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that was awesome, <laughs> declaring, declaring, <laughs> that's one of those funky words. <laughs> Declaring Israel in the Golan Heights a part of Israel. So the Golan Heights is now officially a part of Israel. Yeah. So I don't think Syria is very happy about that. I don't think the Palestinians are very happy about that. But I don't think Israel gives a two-bit shit. First of all, they need it for the strategic location. Second of all, they like it because of the resources. And third of all, just to piss everybody else off, but they can say that they own it. Yeah, they took it, so they own it. They took it in the battle, and they own it, they own it, it's theirs. They took it fair and fucking square, so they lost, Syria lost the fucking thing, so if the Syria wouldn't have lost the Golan Heights, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now, would we, Syria? You'd be Bashar al-Assad. No, we wouldn't. But guess what? You ain't getting it back because Israel owns it and Israel's like a mini U.S. And what the, what the fuck you going to do? fuck you going to do, Bashar Assad? You ain't going to do shit to the might of Israel. So just back the fuck off. Israel's right on the border with their tanks. They're ready to go. They're fucking just a hop, skip, and a jump away from you. With their laser-guided bombs, so tread lightly, Mr. Bashar al-Assad. I don't like you that much. 
At least you took the fight to the fucking terrorists, but I, I don't know. I think you're corrupt, dude. I don't know. I don't know. Just just the way about you. You just got this way about you. I don't know. I just got the sixth sense. I think Bashar is kind of a ruthless dictator, but at least he gave up a lot of the chemical weapons when we told him to give up the chemical weapons. At least he was, you know, on board to do that. So, you know, it's not like um, fighting North Korea that has the sec, you know, the uh, world's largest supply of, uh, you know, you name it, anthrax, VX, all that shit, sarin gas. So that's that's what they really possess. They possess a lot. And they just got it stuck under these tunnels throughout their entire country. So, and, and, and when an army tries to invade them, then they just they can unleash gas at at that army throughout the entire country, underneath the ground, over you know, come right out of the ground, right out of the cave complex, and bam, poisonous gas, sarin gas, BX gas, dude, they're ruthless, dude. It would be a ruthless, ruthless war if we ever had to go to war with North Korea. So hopefully hopefully they can do something about the submarine. I don't know. I don't know. You shouldn't have let them you shouldn't have let them build it this far, dude. They should have fucking drone strike that motherfucker. You still can. See, it's not their Hawsong 15s and this new tactical nuke you got to worry about is if they can get that sub nice and close to your coastlines. Open up the bay door, fire one off, come down, boom, and hit you right in the middle of the country. Before you even have a chance to respond, dude, the missile would the missile would over the missiles would overwhelm our missile defense systems. They probably send about, I'd say about probably four to six at a time. That way, it would completely overload our batteries, and we would be fucked. And then you could send over the big boys, the Hasong 15s, if you really wanted to, to take out the new Camp David and Pentagon and White House. And why not? Gotta have Minot. Minot's got to be on the list. It's always on the list. Minot's always on the list. So, but I think if this video has gone on long enough, I'm going to let you guys go so nobody commits suicide during the middle of my video. So that's good. Anyway, but uh, asteroid GC6. GC6 is flying by today. So, heads up if you can see it up there in the sky tonight. Great. So I'm gonna, I, I know if I got somewhat clear skies, I'm going to go out there and try to see if I can view it. Why not, right? If not, somebody in this world will do it. So I believe in somebody will do it. Somebody will capture this motherfucker, dude. Just like the one that was captured over fucking Washington, D.C. last night, that big blue bastard. Yeah, yeah. I love apocalyptic shit. So, all right. You have a good day. As always, peace out and love from Fargo.